Hey, my name is Rafael. Uh, I am from Colorado. Well, I'm originally from Peru. I moved here when I was 15. Uh, kind of a little bit story like Diego. Um, you know, I, I got my green card actually three years ago. Um, so my, my kind of a little bit of my background is I have a lot of uh, ba uh, banking background. You know, I worked for Wells Fargo. I was a manager for Wells Fargo on the retail side. Uh, I actually became a store manager when I was 21. So, I mean, it was it was kind of uh, life changing for me um, just with, uh, you know, having a social. I was on DACA, just being a manager, you know, it was kind of hard because I looked so young and it was kind of hard to get everyone to take me seriously, you know, when I was giving out financial advice, but I, I overcame that. Um, and about a year ago is when I started uh, real estate investing. Uh, it was actually I'm trying to remember, March last year when I got my first property. Uh, and that was when I picked up my first property. Well, actually it was uh, 2019, it was November, 2019 when I picked up my first rental. It was a condo, a little condo that I bought on the MLS. Uh, for about a hundred thousand, and it was cash flow ever since then for two hundred dollars, which is nothing <laughs> compared to you know what everybody else cash flows. But it was my first one that that kind of got everything started. Um, and then after that, I picked up my first flip, and I've been flipping since then. Uh, back in uh, March of 2000, 2020 is when I started. And I've done in twenty twenty, I've done seven flips. They've, they've all been closed and done. Uh, first one was a house. It was, um, yeah, I was a DACA. Uh, my first one was a house. Everything that could have went wrong went wrong. I picked it up from a wholesaler. I didn't know what I wanted, what I wanted to do. Um, so I, I tell everybody, you know, if you know, if you can partner up with someone when you're doing your first rental or your first flip or getting a little bit of inside of the, the uh, contract inside the renovations, I will highly recommend it. I knew zero, nothing in construction, only knew how to change the light bulb. So kind of the contractor took advantage of me. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I kind of, it was a two bed, one bath. I kind of just went in and made it a four bed, two bath, thinking that I, that I knew what I was doing, kind of like the HGTV uh, shows. I was just like, okay, well, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. I ended up just netting $10,000 on a flip. That was, that kind of got started, uh, everything started. Um, if I would go back, I would do everything all over again, try to flip it, like, you know, get better uh, profits. But um, that kind of got everything started. It's like it's all about the knowledge. Like they say, you know, your first your first deal isn't gonna make you rich. It, it, it was it was all the knowledge that I that I got from it. So you say you found it on the MLS. How did you fund it? Uh, so the first deal it was a rental. So that one I funded through it was just regular owner occupied uh, property. Uh, I ended up renting it within like a couple months after, uh, just because I had I was gonna live there. And then eventually it just ended up living uh, with my in-laws. So that's kind of how it happened. And just kept it like that through just regular finance and 30-year mortgage. And with your first flip, how did you fund that one? Uh, so that one, I got it through a wholesaler and I funded with a hard money lender. Uh, lender. Yeah, they lend you up to 80%. Uh, the 20% I had to put out of pocket, um, which was like 30K. And then, I, and then I pay for all renovation, which is like, like another 30K. And was that hard money lender in the Colorado area or were they a big bank or was it like just? In uh, uh, so that one was in California. I actually had gone to a, uh, like a, like a meetup uh, back before I started uh, uh, flipping or doing anything in San Francisco. Uh, some of the, it was a Hispanic guy. His name is Raul Luna. He was a big guy over there. And one of the people that were sponsoring, uh, there was a hard money lender there. Yeah, they had like a really good uh, deal, which was one point up front. It was only one point at like 8%, which was like nobody beat it. I mean, I don't think nobody beats it till this day on the hard money. Who was that? So who's the uh, bank? Uh, the bank is uh, Conventus. Yeah. So, so you, you did the flip, you have that property. What does that look like now? What is the, wh wh where am I at now? Or what is that, yeah. what does that flip look like? Okay. Yeah, like what do you so, do now? Okay, so after that flip, you know, everything that could have went, went wrong. In the middle that I was under contract, you know, two days prior to me giving the keys to the seller, uh, I, I got a condo deal. And I was like, wow, okay, I've never done a condo. This is kind of on the cheap side. You know, I have a little bit of money because obviously I don't have that much money to fund. A How'd you get the condo, condo and, and all that though? Oh, I got, I got it through a wholesaler. So prior to all this, my number one thing that I will tell everybody, whether it's a rental or flip, is I signed up to a bunch of lists in, for wholesalers, 
literally all over all over the United States. I signed up for California, Miami, Colorado, and I just started analyzing a lot of stuff. So I analyzed every deal, you know, before I, that way I got comfortable. So once I got that condo, I was, I already had a deal. I already had done that flip. I was already ready to close. It was like very cheap. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just uh, go ahead and do it. It was literally, uh, I think I only had to put 10,000 out of pocket because it was, they were lending 90% and 15,000 that it was the rehab. So I was like, let's go ahead and do it. I didn't have that much money at that time. So I called my brother up and I was like, hey, you want to go halves? And then he's like, okay, I trust you. And then we went ahead and do it. So he put like 15,000 down. I put 15,000 down. And that one actually, it was like, it was, we sold it for 150 cash offer. Literally had the condo for maybe like one month and a week. It was sold within four hours that we put in MLS. I was hooked. I was like, wow. That condo <laughs> that sold. I was like in four, I had three offers within four hours. I accepted the highest one, which was 3000 over asking price. I was like, geez, that's amazing. And I, and I, I closed that one within like a couple of weeks. It was a month and a half. Uh, and then I was hooked after I got condos after that. All right. So what do those systems look like? Like, okay, you flipped a condo. Great. But talk to us about what that process of flipping that condo looked like. What went right? What went wrong? You know, give us the nuts and bolts, not just I flipped. Like, tell me everything. I want to know. Yeah, yeah. So got the deal. Uh, I went to look at it. Uh, this was like a first come, first serve. Looked at it. Uh, I, I brought a guy at the time, and then we went over it. He's like, "Okay, this is about this is gonna be about eight thousand or ten thousand for the rehab." Uh, they were selling at I think for one ten, uh, and the ARV was one fifty. Um, so, so that that was a pretty good deal. Well, I, you know, and I was like, "Well, this is gonna be quick in and out. I don't have to worry too much. What worse can go in a condo?" Three things that you don't have to worry that you got to worry in a house than a condo is the landscape, the roof, the sewer line or structure. So those are like four things. I don't have to worry about any of that because the HOA takes care of it. So I was like, Can okay, well, all I'm, time? yeah. So it is a structural uh, roof, uh, sewer, like the sewer line and what's the other one? Landscape. <clears throat> so, so those four things, I, I never have to worry about that in a condo because all that's taken care of by the HOA. Even the balcony, I had, a, I had an issue with the condo where the balcony was like kind of falling apart, called the HOA, HOA guy was like, well, we're going to take care of that. So that was kind of nice. Um, so yeah, and then, and then I, I went on the contract, I think put 10,000 down because that was my 20%, oh, it was like 15,000 down, 20%. And then I had the other 15 that my brother lend me, lend me pretty much to take care of the, uh, the rehab. And then some of that was closing costs, holding costs and all that. Then, then pretty much just listed it with the realtor after it was done. It was literally, it was pretty easy. I mean, in condos, it's very, really easy. You, all you got to do is change the cabinets, a little bit of tile in the kitchen, new appliances, one bathroom you got to take care of. Because this is a one, one bed, one bath, just by the sink. Uh, toilet, the tub, we usually for all the tubs, I just re, repaint it. And and the flooring was good. So it was just, it was just that cosmetic, what what they call it, like, you know, the cosmetic, the, 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 just a little bit of pain and then get it going. So how much, it. how much did you put in for for the rehab? The rehab was a total of, it was 9,000 altogether. 9,000? Yes. And and the down payment was? Was about 15. Okay, so 15, so you're in around 25,000, yeah. 25 then, to 26,000 with yeah. interest and all that stuff. Yeah, closing costs, realtor fees, I was more like 30,000 with all that okay and you but of course you you had thirty thousand from 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 your pocket basically yeah yeah thirty thousand yeah but i bought it for a hundred and ten thousand right yeah the ten thousand was a down payment so technically it's like a hundred plus thirty thousand then i have twenty thousand left kind of as profit lower than what i was estimating but then you got to pay closing costs it was more like seventeen thousand that i ended up profiting and just pay my brother uh i ended up paying him eight percent Cause he didn't really, he was just the money partner. He didn't do anything on it. So it was just the 8% paid him that and then kept the rest. So you were hooked after that. And you came yeah. to Nashville and we met mm-hmm. and you said that yes. like you've done more of these. Can you tell us the process of how you're getting them, how you're scaling your business? And then you said something that was really key. You said you're, you're doing these and it's really simple because you already know how much most of your costs are going to be because it's really easy. So Correct. talk to us about how you're finding them. 
processes you're putting in place. Uh, and, and yeah, we'll dig into it. Yeah. So and after doing that one, yeah. quick, really quick, all of these are in Denver, correct? Because there's some Denver, people Colorado. asking here where they are in Colorado or. Yeah, Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I've heard in other places, condos may not work, but this is a specifically for Colorado. Just because a condo you can buy for 150 for a one bed, one bath and a 200,000 for a two bed, two bath where, you know, a home, it's like so much expensive, like 350, 400. So I am on the more affordable side where more people can afford it, like a, like a single person or a couple, a young couple or someone getting retired. And so banks, that's, well, that's banks it. are funding these, right? Like yeah. banks, oh, yeah, sure. like, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Go ahead. So are, how are you, how are you sure. getting them all that? Okay. So now after that, after I had those two flips done, uh, the wholesaler kept sending it. Um, and then I, something I realized is that uh, condos, I, I created this little formula for myself where a one bed, one bath, I know that it's going to be 10,000 on the, on the higher end. And for a two bed, two bath is, or two bed, one bath, two bed, two bath is about 15,000 to maybe exaggerating 20,000. So after that one, I kept getting wholesale deals from, uh, from co for condos from wholesalers. And then at that point, I just decided, I was like, I don't need to see them anymore. I mean, what, what all do you have to see in a condo? No, you don't have to see the roof. All you gotta do is change the, you know, just a few pictures and just look at things. Everything is inside. So, you know, I, I started using that, uh, you know, that formula that I kind of created and I just get in the wholesale. And sometimes there was like, you know, whoever gets this, this one first, cause you know how real estate is, whoever, Whoever, whoever wants to send the, the earnest money, you kind of get it, get it on contract. So I was like, and I was beating everybody. I was like, okay, well, I'm not, I don't really have to see this condos. So I, just, I was just sending my earnest money and then closing within a week. So that, that, that's kind of how I was doing it after that. How many, how many have you done now? I've done seven, uh, but I'm already under contract for two, two condos in January, closing nice. uh, one tomorrow and then one, another one next week. And this is all coming from wholesalers? Yeah, all from wholesalers, but I actually started wholesaling this uh, January. So I'm, I, I landed one deal already uh, that will be closing next week. So I kind of just trying to trying to get my own deals now, trying to cut the, the middle. Tell, tell us about that. Okay, so after, you know, after I was doing all this, I, I got a little bit busier. So I decided to just bring in a partner. Uh, one of my best friends from like back in high school, he's he's been all about it, you know, talking about real estate. I've noticed that he, you know, he wants to take action. So I was like, you know what, let's get the, let's get all the stuff in place. But by that time I was already getting mentored by someone else, which is about an hour away from Denver that has been killing it in, in, uh, in wholesaling. So she told me, you know, what, what our specialty is text blasting. Uh, with, that's what works for us. You know, a text, uh, I mean, all of them work, but a text for us is um, something that you, it will stay in your phone that I feel like we get a lot of replies, whether they're no, yes, you know, maybe interested. Uh, so we use a system called launch control, um, which is very popular. I think it's about 300 bucks a month. Um, we've got to buy the list too, as well. We buy them from PropStream, which is the same uh, system that you use as well. We run yep. comps through them. We skip trace it through launch control. Uh, and then we, we send the text blasting uh, to everybody. If it's a thousand in the list, we try to do them, you know, a little bit at eight in the morning and then a nine, a 10, and then just try to reply to everybody else. Um, does it all go to your phone or how does that work? No, it actually goes to the app. So the, the launch control app uh, has like a little, it kind of looks like Facebook messenger. Uh, so it just pops up on the bottom of the laptop and you just reply to whoever replies back. So, I mean, you get a lot of no's, but then you're like, oh, well, what is your offer? So you're, you have to comp a lot of properties. So after we started that, we've been comping anywhere from five to 10. We're already in conversation with a few. I, I feel like we get a lot of warm leads and we are signing, uh, we, we already got a contract that we signed uh, yesterday. So hopefully we get that to the other side. Well, and I'm still all deciding you've used if... is prop stream and launch control. Yep, that's all I use. Yep. Dude, I'm, I'm the same way. I got my first deal in January. I started wholesaling in January. I made, I'm gonna make about, I'm gonna do a $10,000 deal. I'm gonna make 6,500 on it. And all I did was, yeah. all I did was skip trace a list from prop stream that we did a video on the other day. I saw and that. That was it. Like, I just, oh, yeah. did you watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watch it. I watch it. Yeah. Just cold call, and that was it. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, I think everything works. I mean, I see some people doing mailers, cold calling, texting. You just got to do, just got to choose which one you're comfortable with.